So guys, I am back with yet another First Descendant video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to showcase to you the six best Kuiper Shard farms in the game. How's it going, guys? My name's DPG, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. Tell me if you like what you see and want to see more. Be sure to subscribe. Okay, so farms will be timestamped down below. If there's a particular area you don't have unlocked or you do have unlocked, that's completely fine. Also, these farms can be done on normal and hard. I mean, obviously on hard you'll earn more Kuiper Shards, you'll earn more materials, modules, reactors, weapons, this, that and the other. But also enemies will hit you hard at the same time. And I'm also fully aware that not everybody's got a hard mode on luck check. So again, these farms can be done on normal mode too. Okay, so first things first guys, we have two on sterile land. The first one guys takes place in the Rockfall area, left hand side of the map. And you want to come to this fast travel point right here. So once you're here guys, you want to run around this corner and we're going to go and start this mission that's right on this bend. Now you can run this in literally 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how quick you are. And it is a real, real quick mission guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been running now for about 15 minutes just to double check, trust, trust you. Just to double check, it's still as efficient as I remember, and it really is. So yep, enemies will spawn there, enemies will then spawn here. Just like so, then the guys will spawn here. If you're quick enough, you can get on top of them. Me being on um, Bonnie, it's just um, obviously a lot, a lot easier. But then guys spawn here, just like so. We get a couple more on this side in the middle and there. One left here, then you'll get the big guy who spawns right here, guys. Just like that. Take him out and that's literally the mission done. Now, obviously I've got loads of things on the floor here I can pick up. <laughs> I mean, my, my shit's just full. I've got so much stuff. And like I said, I've been running this for about 10 minutes and look at all the stuff here. And a full inventory I've got. But again, for that I got approximately 1500 Kuiper Shards and it took me 40 seconds. And it wasn't anywhere near the fastest I've run that solo. Then guys, simply just restart the mission. You restart the mission, you spawn right at the bottom of that hill. And you can simply repeat it so run up there and repeat it if you want to that's completely fine so now we're going to move on to the next one okay so we are again in sterile lands as you can see right here guys and you want to come to the classified area this fast travel point and that's the mission we're going to be running so i'm just going to mark it on my map and then let's just go people now i'm a little bit of a noob when it comes to jumping um i'm probably going to jump to my death here but hey let's see Hey, I made it, I made it. This is the mission, simple as this. So you start this up, guys. You run down here. All these enemies will be here, take them all out. And you basically, guys, just have to defend this point. You'll see once you take all these guys out, you'll have a bar across the top of your screen. And then, guys, you simply just have to defend this point. Enemies will come from all angles. I prefer it to let them all run at me so they can get close to me, so I don't have to run all over the place to get all my loot that they drop. But hey. You can do you can do this how you want. If you're here in a team, what I will say is it will be much much quicker. But I prefer to showcase these to you guys solo, just show you exactly how much and how quick you can run these. If you are a solo player, again, if you run these in a team, any farm today, guys, it will be miles quicker. Obviously. Oh, just, just, there's always one. There's always one with that annoying ass shield. Just covers up his face. You can't hit anything it's such such a pain oh you want to play like that you want no that's what i thought that is literally what i thought if you if you, you can't play like that with me i'm not having it i absolutely love this weapon as well by the way i love this weapon with a passion a tamer what is going on with him oh there's two of them there <laughs> i just wonder what was going on then it looked like he was like i don't even know his body was like morphing that was wild but yeah, if you don't know about the Tamer, guys, it is an absolute incredible... Why do you have to have that? No, I've got a thing for you, don't worry. i got something for you, don't worry about it. Yeah, regret that. Oh, no, it didn't even kill him. <laughs> it didn't even kill him. That's awkward, isn't it? Okay, so the mission's complete. And obviously, I'm going to have Kuipers all over the shop here. Yeah, probably a couple up here. I've got materials everywhere, guys. My image is full from the last farm. I got so much shiz and what we got from that was I got 2265 in 1 minute 41 seconds and to be honest I was running that a little bit slow 
then. Um, a couple of the enemies come with shields, and yeah, you know how it goes there. Again, from here, guys, you can restart the mission, or simply just run up here, because the mission literally starts there. It's completely up to you. So yeah. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the third farm. Okay, so now, guys, we are on Echo Swamp, just here, bottom right of the map. And you want to come to the abandoned zone area, and you want to come to this point right here. This is the mission we're going to be running. Incredible farm this is. It's probably my favourite of all of the ones I'm going to showcase to you guys today. It definitely ain't the easiest, but it's definitely my favourite. It's such a good farm. So we start this mission up. Simple as this. And then guys, we run up here and we take out all the enemies on top. Just like so. And there's quite a few up here. Some of them are hiding. Some of them are pain in the arse. Some of them will get shields. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You want to earn those materials, people. And this one is obviously one that was it works so much quicker. If you do this in a team, it's not even a question about this one. Because there's a couple of elites that spawn at the end too. Are way, way easier to take out in a team. And I mean, I think in a team, I was running this in like... 50 seconds guys, 50 seconds, I was running this, so yeah, again you take out all the enemies up top and you'll get them spawn uh, from down below, they'll come from the right hand side first, and yeah, like literally come from down there, so you take them all out, a couple of the big hitting guys too, take them out people, oh the Tame is such a good weapon, such a beautiful weapon, Take these guys out too, and then guys, you'll spawn down. You'll see enemies spawn down to your, to your left. Literally where these just come from. Just like so. So we go down here. Just like that. And I'm just going to use my uh, abilities here. Just to make things a bit quicker for the video. Run past all these enemies, you'll get a load spawn here. Oh my days, look at my health. <laughs> look at my health. There's some exploded next to me. I don't even know what it was. Now I'm stuck on enemies. But yeah, taking all these guys out, guys. Then if you still got your abilities, any left, take these guys out here too. And then there's a couple more elites here. I'm going to try and take these out in one. Boom. Just like so. And there we have it, guys. That's basically the farm. Now, there's going to be loads of Kuipers here for me to pick up. Some are missed up top. But we still earn there. 2,345 in 1 minute 39 seconds. But I can absolutely guarantee you there's more Kuiper uh, things up top. Absolutely know about it. There's a couple more there, 233 more. And there's going to be more up top too. Because I normally here I get between three and 4,000 per run. So yeah, make sure you cover all the ground that you can take those enemies out on. Because again, they spread out all over the place. So make sure you run around. Make sure you don't miss any. And not get all that loot, people. Get all that loot. And remember guys, to restart the mission. I've, well, with this one, you can run back down to where the mission starts. Or... As always, you can go to your mission results and restart the mission from there. Simple as that, guys. It really is that easy. Okay, so now, guys, we're going to move on to the next farm. Okay, so the next farm takes place in the Agna Desert region, guys. And you want to come up to the storage area, which is this place right here. Uh, you want to spawn into this place, and this is the mission we're going to be running to. So I'm just going to mark that. And I'll showcase you guys exactly how you do this. Now again, all of these farms can be done either solo or in a team. This one in a team is much, much quicker as a solo player, especially on this glass cannon bunny build I've got. Uh, some of the enemies here hit pretty hard, but hey, let's try and get through. But it's still a great, great farm. Especially if you're playing on normal, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Playing bunny on hard, you may have to be careful. Uh, any other class on hard, you really shouldn't have a problem as long as you're on level with these. But hey, that's the mission. And this is how you do it. So you run up here, guys. Two enemies will spawn there, right in front of you. Take these guys out. Group will spawn behind you. With their shield. Because that's what they like to do. Just like to be a pain in the ass, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so the big guy's got shield, I see. Had a shield. Take them out. You have that one up there, guys. Take him out too. If you got ammo. <laughs> Just like that. And now, guys, we run this way. And take these guys out. Now this building here um, is basically what we're going to defend. So you get like loads of ads like these spawn in. Once you're taking all these guys out, guys, and taking a few out that spawn outside. This guy here, take him out. A couple more there, take them out too. And then we just run up here. And take this big bastard out too. And this place, guys, basically don't let him explode next to you. 
they're the most horrible enemies in this game. Um, but yeah, you stand in this point, guys, and you got the three paths: one, two, and three. You basically just defend it. You basically just defend it. And look, the thing I like about this is you get so many uh, materials drop here in regards to weapons, reactors, um, all sorts, really. To be honest, it is one of the better ones, apart from the last one I'm going to show you, which is just absolutely ludicrous. But that, the last one, I do recommend you running in a team. Um, because that one is real, real hard. So many enemies, and you wait until you see it's utterly unreal. So, yep, you're taking out all these guys. These fortress guys are the most annoying enemies because they pull up a shield and run at you. And it's just a pain in the ass. Gotta collect all this health because obviously I'm bunny. Being a little glass cannon. Getting slapped by everybody. Look at this. <laughs> Where are you going? You ain't got nothing on this. On this uh, tamer, nothing at all. And that guy's the big guy was spawning. in. That guy there, this is the guy you want to just now concentrate on. Take him out, and this will be the mission done and dusted. Simple as that. And again, guys, here yeah, just run around collecting all that loot. Make sure you don't miss out on anything. That was actually a bit of a long run. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so what that took me about three minutes maybe okay so two minutes 17 not too bad and I got 3091 Kuiper shards for that so not too bad whatsoever and again guys restart the mission spawn at the bottom of the hill or you can simply just run there because it's literally right there simple as that okay guys so now we move on to the next farm so it takes place within the white knight gulch region and you want to come down to the moon grave Basin. Now, if you guys have unlocked the hard mode difficulty, you will know that you have this difficulty level rewards menu. Now, if we come down to White Knight Gulch here, we can see that Moongrave Basin, where this actual farm takes place, they are dropping those sensors. Now, you have six days left before this rotates and they drop something else. But if you're in need of those sensors, people, you get a ton of them from here. So the mission guys is this one right here called the water cooling recording device so we're just going to tag that and we're going to run around now what i will say is don't worry about the mission rewards for completing it because we're not actually going to complete it we're going to trigger it and we're just going to take advantage of the enemies that spawn in and we get about four minutes of doing this they drop tons of like i said materials tons of those kuiper shards gold absolutely everything as well as those sensors those ultimate sensors and this can be done on normal mode don't get it twisted but you won't earn as much obviously in regards to materials but it still can be done on normal mode so guys what we do is we start the mission and we run this way now this is one of those missions where obviously well not obviously but it will be obvious you capture the points you then blow up well destroy the points you pick up the thing and you bring it to this little mouthy robot here there are two points, A and B. Forget B, leave that out of it. We're going to initiate A, just like so. And then, guys, you'll see that we get the progress bar at the top. We're going to ignore that and we're going to let enemies capture it back. When that happens, guys, we get like four minutes. Well, we get like three and a half minutes of us being able to do and take out unlimited spawning enemies that drop all these materials that we want basically that's the farm we run backwards as well now i'm just gonna wait you can see that at the top of the screen uh seizure aborted that's what we want now what i will say is as well guys once we take these enemies out we want to leave the guys on the point you don't want to go near the point because if you kill the enemies on the point it starts to progress spiral up again and we don't want that so from here guys you just want to run this way take out all these ads here just like so i mean it's going to be much much quicker on bonnie but if you're doing this in a team it's going to be unbelievable too you have enemy spawn here too, enemy spawn right here, right by this little container. Take them out, run backwards on yourself and run back up here guys. Take these guys out again. It's just basically a cycle of doing this until the time limit goes down. And again, you get an absolute ton of these sensors. You get tons of everything. It is one incredible farm. And again, I think this one is up to 400,000 per hour. But obviously you want to be rocking this, the right and the... Um, what they're called the right like loadout in regards to increasing your drop rates of kuipers and whatever you want gold whatever so yeah keep that in mind so we have mission failed you'll see now 
that uh, mission results. Okay, so we got from that in four minutes, 29 seconds, 6,840 uh, Kuiper Shards. Now keep in mind, we also got a ton of these modules and like I said, I have no uh, buffs to my drop rates in regards to my Kuiper Shards. These can all be added on to your loadout if you have that. I mean, a lot of people keep them safe. Now I'm in the process of doing that myself. But yes, like I said, and there's more shards here for me to pick up. It's absolute madness, guys. It's a great, great, great farm. Uh, and I do recommend you taking advantage of it, can, especially if you do want those uh, sentences too. So yeah. Okay, so the last farm takes place on White Knight Gulch. Now this one's going to be pretty difficult to run on solo, especially for my glass cannon bunny build. But hey, so we want to come to the shipment base area. Uh, so spawning right here, guys. And this is the mission we're going to be doing. The Fortress Outskirts. So from here guys, run forward and I'll showcase you exactly how this is done and it is brutal. The amount of ads here that spawn in is unbelievable. It really is. It'd be hard for any player to do solo, I reckon. But obviously there's builds out there that can do this. I've just got the hard mode, so yeah, it's a little bit more difficult for me. But I'll showcase you exactly what you gotta do. So firstly, first things first, all these enemies will spawn in. Take them all out. Now there's a few more than this. You can see them all there. They're all coming towards you. So just take them all out just like so people just like so and there'll be a couple more coming down these steps they all need to be taken out start with the big guy see he hits the artist obviously and then this guy here the destroyers they're the pain in the asses now guys you can see there's four points the vulgus resource storage points so these you want to activate all four of them activate all four of these there's one i mean there's two and that enemies will start spawning here. There you go. Run to see. Just like so. And because we're starting all these up, enemies just spawn at all four points. And I mean, they build up like in unbelievable numbers to a point where it starts actually freezing and the frame rates drop on my Xbox. So once you've done like that, you can then, guys, while well, I'm bunny anyway, can run around shocking absolutely everybody. And again, these points will have to be captured. So you do have to run around on said points. But, again, if you're bunny, it's going to be a lot easier because you can just do what I'm doing. But if you're not on bunny, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So, yeah. And then, guys, again, just wait for your abilities. Take out all these enemies. I mean, it ain't too bad when they ain't that built up. But, again, they will build up in massive numbers. Boom! Get out of here. And, yeah, this is basically the farm. And, I mean, like, I'll show you footage of what I recorded previously, which is just... The amount of numbers that can build up here is absolutely hilariously staggering. So yeah, you're seeing that on the screen now, but it comes to a point, guys, where you have to capture all four points. You'll then have to, once they're captured, you have to destroy the points by shooting them or using any of your abilities on them. And then, guys, what you'll do is you'll pick up the uh, thing that drops out and you'll deliver it to that little robot thing. And once you've done that, guys, you push on with the mission. And uh, you basically just kill a couple more enemies and the mission is then done and you can rinse and repeat this. Again, this is one for if you're in a team, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, if you're in a team with this one, it's unbelievable. And the, the gains you can get from this are quite struggling. I think it was Moxie who originally posted this. And I think he worked out if you're in a fast working team, they can get up to 300,000 per hour doing this. I'm not certain on that, don't quote me on that. But I believe that's what he said. Wait, the numbers are madness. It's just absolute madness. It's by far the quickest farm you can do in a team, without a shadow of a doubt. If you're a solo player, it's going to be way, way harder. You won't get that much gains in regards to materials. But there's a lot here that does drop, so yeah, keep that in mind. But yes, guys, you're seeing the end of that mission. Well, you're seeing the end of this farm on screen now. Um, I can't remember if the footage is me and a team are doing it solo. But hey, you'll see it anyway. But yes, guys, I hope you do enjoy the video. If you do, leaving a like really helps out. If you find any more farms and want to share them with the world, be sure to let us know down below in the comments section. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. Be careful.